Hi, I'm Logan from Hidden Villa, and it's a beautiful February morning today, and I am thinking about animals and their habitats. But uh, first off, I guess the question to start with is, what is a habitat? So you probably said that a habitat is a place where an animal or a plant lives. And when I think of habitats, and I think when a lot of people think of habitats, they think of big things like mountains or jungles or deserts or oceans, rivers, and those are all really good examples of habitats. But also there are things that are smaller habitats, you could call them micro habitats, where there's a whole bunch of plants and animals living, but they're in a very small space. And I'm going to teach you how to explore some of my favorite micro habitats, which is life under logs. There are things that are living under this log. This is a whole habitat that we're about to take its roof off. And I'm gonna teach you how to do this because I've been doing this since I was your age. So, when you are about to roll a log, and we're gonna roll this and, and see what's living underneath, but when you roll it, just as a tip, if you find a log, you can roll it towards you, not pushing away from you. Because sometimes if you're pushing away from you and there might be something like a centipede or a lizard that crawls out, if it scared you, you'd be like, ah, and you would drop the log smack on top of whatever else was living in here. So I'm going to roll it towards me and then I'm going to very carefully look. Oh, nice. So there, I, right over here is one of my favorite animals. It's so pretty which is one of the reasons why my favorite, but it's got a lot of other things that are cool too. So it's really slow moving. And you see how it's got that black uh, top and then the yellow side. So this is a millipede and uh, millipedes have a special adaptation that allows them to live under logs. One, they have this armor like, they're like a tank with a thousand legs, but also they move really slowly you can see it's got these antenna at the front that it's just tapping my skin with. Well, they would tap the ground and look for good things to eat. And they're kind of like scavengers. They'll eat anything left over, um, old mushrooms or seeds from plants or anything. And millipedes also have another adaptation in that most of them are poisonous. And uh, they have a chemical in them. It's actually really close to cyanide that if we ate this, we would get really sick. So don't eat, don't eat millipedes, but other things don't eat them either. But they, uh, they move slow and they protect themselves and they look for their good, their food, and their favorite food is under logs. Now, if you find something like this under a log, we just took the roof off of this habitat. And if we put it back down and we put the roof back on, we might not put the roof back on exactly right. There could be uh, gaps of air where there weren't before, or in the special, uh, the safe places actually could be crushed. So what we want to do is make sure that the animals aren't crushed when we put them back. Um, it would be a real shame if I killed this animal just because I wanted to look at it. That doesn't seem right. So what you do instead is you put the roof back on slowly, and then I'll put this millipede right back on the front door, I guess you could say. And uh, it knows how to get home. So it'll get back living in its special microhabitat in just a few minutes. Let's see what else we can find. So I just rolled over this log and look what I found, one of my favorite animals at Hidden Villa. This is a kind of animal called a salamander and it looks like a lizard, but it doesn't have scales like a lizard. It's smooth skin, so it's actually kind of amphibian. It's closer to frogs than it is to lizards. And uh, because it has smooth skin, it really needs to have moisture all around it. And so it likes to live under logs because that's where it stays the wet the longest because uh, the sun can't dry it out. So they really like to live under logs. But also, if you're thinking about living under a log, it's really tight spaces and there's not a lot of air down there. And so this is a whole family of living things that breathe air, but they don't have lungs. They breathe the air through their skin, which means that even if its tail is sticking into a little air pocket, it can still breathe. So they live under logs 
and they come up uh, when it's wet in the winter and they lay their eggs and then when it's dry in the summer they go back down maybe through tunnels like this and so salamanders uh, are definitely one of the most amazing animals that live in this microhabitat. and this salamander it has the prettiest name it is called Incitina. so let's see what's under this log Ugh. now sometimes when you roll it you have to wait a few seconds and let your eyes adjust and then all sorts of things will start to pop out so like with this one i'm noticing all this fungus that is actually eating the log and there's a few small ants but even more exciting our friends right on over here so we already saw the encentina but this is another kind of salamander that lives under logs and this is called a slender salamander and it might be hard for you to see because it's colored in really well that's called camouflage and that's another adaptation that it has to living in this microclimate so what I'm doing right now is I just wet my hands because this is a salamander and it likes moisture and I don't want to have a really dry hand when I pick it up because it'll act like a towel and dry it off and they don't want to be dried off and there's actually two under here which means that this must be a pretty good habitat because if there's two that might mean that this is a male and female and that they're about to lay eggs here and make more salamanders for next year and one of their adaptations is despite looking really small they actually have some pretty sharp teeth and they're always looking for bugs or worms or anything else that's moving and edible down here so they're one of the, the big predators, actually, in this microhabitat. What I'm going to do is just roll this gently down. And then again, put my friends, thank you, right over here, so that they can go home. So we ended up finding a lot of living things in those little microhabitats. There was all that fungi, there was two kinds of salamanders and millipedes, and there were also some bugs like ants and spiders that we couldn't even see. And uh, so there was a lot of diversity of life under there. And you can do this too, now that you know that there's plenty of life living under logs and rocks, that you can look for that too. If you do, be sure to always be respectful that you're entering these animals homes and actually you're taking the roof off of their habitat and be really sure that you're treating them with respect and keeping their safety in mind when you are learning about them so i'm logan from hidden villa and that's what's good in the woods